This is Central Pen Parent Assistant Editor Kurt Boat, live once again from my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cheeseburger skillet pie. Now school starting up again throughout the area. The reason we're doing this is because this is a very healthy meal, it's a tasty meal, and the main thing about it is it's quick and easy. It takes about 20 minutes to prepare and up to 20 minutes to cook. Obviously that doesn't sound very quick, but here's the nice thing. You can prepare it the night before, throw it in the oven, go do what you gotta do, and come back 20 minutes later and it's ready to go. And that's what we're aiming for with this one. Um, all you really need is um, a pound of ground beef, some onion, uh, tomatoes. Uh, it's going to be a, a can of, I believe it's diced tomatoes with some green chilies, just adds a little flavor. And then you're going to have some biscuits. I just got the um, the ones in a can. Uh, they come with eight in a pack, and you're supposed to drop eight globs of biscuits on there. It's so much easier to just do that. But if you want to make your own, feel free. And then you sprinkle on a little cheese, and that's how it's done. So follow the next steps, and you can see how to make a cheeseburger skillet pie. First thing you're going to do is chop up your onion and grill it until it turns brown in two tablespoons of olive oil. Also add just a little bit of salt, but basically you're going to grill it until it's brown. I have it on medium high heat. And also the un uh, oven is preheating to 400 as you can see. But uh, you're just going to do this until it's brown. It should take about five minutes and then you're going to add your meat, uh, your meat and your tomatoes shortly. As you can see now, all we're doing is just browning the meat. Um, I literally just dropped the one pound of ground beef uh, on the onion mixture, or the onions in the oil, and I just broke it up. You know, as it's cooking, it broke up sort of in itself. I used a spoon to break it up. Uh, we are going to, basically, I'm going to do this till it browns. Again, it's going to take another about six to seven minutes, eh, depending on how hot you have it. Ultimately, uh, this should take roughly half an hour, maybe, uh, probably uh, under half an hour to cook the then get it all ready and then you can decide if you want to bake it right then and there or if you want you can actually save it and then bake it when you're ready so this is a great meal to have on the go for those busy nights uh, again next thing we're going to do is add the tomatoes and then keep stirring that until they thicken um, a little bit which should only be about two to three minutes and then we'll go on to the final step okay as you see I've dropped uh, the biscuits in the mixture. Uh, I've also added the tomato, of course. Um, I just used one of the, you know, one of the uh, cans of biscuits, ready-made biscuits that you can get at the store. Um, and then uh, you're supposed to place eight globs on there. Unfortunately, this package came with eight. So I just, it was really easy to do. It was easier than making homemade biscuits. So I just plopped them on there. Now I'm just going to sprinkle with cheese. And then all I got to do, is, this is where you could stop it if you'd like, but you could ultimately, this is where I'm going to throw it in the oven, again at 400 for about 20 minutes, or I, I, you want the biscuits to be golden brown and cooked all the way through. And then it's good to go. So enjoy. Final product, it's been about 20 minutes, a little less than that in my oven side. Ultimately you want it when the uh, biscuits are about golden brown to brown. You know, you want your biscuits to as make them. So let's check this bad boy out. And as you can see, we just threw the pie that we or the um, pan that we were frying everything in. We just threw that right in the oven, which it's done. I mean, it looks perfect. So here's the final product. Um, so good luck as you make this. Again, it's a very simple recipe. Um, I think it goes great with a salad or with um, you know corn or something like that on the side, some veggie on the side because that's really what's missing from this. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for paying attention again. Uh, and as always, check out centralpanparent.com for this recipe. And be sure to tune in next month, just in time for football season, we're teaching you a buffalo wing recipe that you don't want to miss. So, thanks.